I'm gonna show you my current favorites for the month of February. Let's get started and if you're new, welcome. My name is Jen, Jen's Beauty Style, and please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. This foundation, I've had it for like a month. I did review it on my channel. Sometimes you just have to play with foundations and see what works best. This is the Dior Forever Foundation. This was like reformulated. I never tried the uh, first version. The only bad thing that I have to say about this foundation is that it's scented. The Transfer Proof 24 Hour Foundation High Perfection. This has broad spectrum 15. First time I applied too much of the foundation. That's why I felt like it looked a little bit weird. Definitely less is more. Like build this up. This is a matte foundation. If you don't like matte, they also have the glowy version. This is such a beautiful foundation if you feel like splurging. Next, I repurchased this mascara. I ran out of it so long ago, but I just hadn't repurchased it. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. I always gravitate scara that's like this kind of wand hourglass shape i don't know why like just a regular wand i'm like uh but like this i don't know for me like this type of wand gives you so much volume I never just apply one coat outcome looks so different depending on how if i take my time or not to apply it like if i'm just in a rush it can look completely different i always get waterproof it really helps with holding a curl for me if you don't have problem with like your lashes curling then you probably use the regular but yeah waterproof helps with curling now i have this lip on today this is a small mini from rare beauty i'm not obsessed with this color let me know if you like this color this what color is this let me see if it says here so this is in the color fearless what i love is the formula like i really have to look on the site i never really did to see like what other colors they have if there's something that like catches my attention this i just feel like is not a bad shade it just has like i don't i feel like a little bit of like a brown to it just a little this is how it looks here. I, I put very little. It feels so good on the lips. So good. Like the application, I just want to like to keep applying it forever. Just grab like the first thing that I saw that I wanted like to kind of match a little. This eye look that I did, I just did like a quick look because I wanted to make a video for TikTok. You guys know that I showed you this in a video and this is another thing that i had to learn how to use it definitely not something for a sensitive skin this is for the eyes this is the sunday riley five star six percent retinoid complex centella this is an eye cream under my eye it does say to apply it every day i started peeling which is normal when you're using like retinoid it really helps with like anti-aging it also has i believe olive oil and shea butter even with that like i was peeling and my eyes were like not my eyes but the skin around my eyes was like burning the applicator there's nothing that i've felt so that has felt so amazing applying than this thing whatever they put like in this tip i know somebody said it but i forgot it's amazing it feels so nice and cold so if you're like tired you take off your makeup and then you apply this it feels amazing but this is what i changed so now what i'm doing and they do advise to do something like this i just didn't read is you apply this and now i go ahead and i apply this this is the algenis triple algae eye renewal balm so this is nice and moisturizing this is what it looks like so you put that on maybe try not to do it like an everyday and see how your your skin feels around but i want to keep using it because i'm sure the product is amazing i just had to stop because i couldn't even remove my makeup after but now i apply this on top for extra moisture and I'm not doing it like on an everyday basis. One day yes, one day no. And this definitely helps, okay? I keep raving about it so much. I feel like, does anybody else use this? Like, do you use Perlis? This is the Perlis Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. Lightweight, oil-free water cream. I love a water cream. Love a water cream. Even though I feel like my skin is drier now, 
but definitely get oily there's no like forget it like i'm still getting super oily every day but this is amazing like you want to put a moisturizer before your foundation your makeup it's just gonna help for it to look much nicer especially if your foundation is matte so this is beautiful i don't feel greasy i don't feel oily it's just like the perfect amount of hydration and it's not scented at all i know they have something like this but like a watermelon i want to try that so bad so this i received in was a boxy charm or ipsy where, where did we receive this um you probably received it too if you get like subscription boxes but this is the Kaja Beauty Bento. I had another one of these, which I also made a video like three years ago. And it was so beautiful. So this is like a little trio palette of eyeshadows. This is in Chocolate Dahlia. 08 Chocolate Dahlia. It's so pretty, super convenient. It brings three shades. This one brings two mattes. So this is the first shade here. This is what I use today on my eyes. I tried to do like a halo look. I hope it came out kind of decent. Okay, so you have this shade is the darkest. Then you have this one, which I like to apply like for as transition, however you like, all over the lid. Maybe you want that. And it helps with blending. And then this beauty here see that so pretty okay like if you wet your brush and you apply it i always apply these kind of shades like with my finger also on top it just helps it pop so much and of course i put concealer first to help it pop more just like in the center of the lid but it's beautiful i think the last time i checked this one was sold out i don't know why they have several trios if these are not like your kind of shades. I haven't used it in a while, but I really like this. I used it today. This is the Benefit Roller Liner. This is the mini one. They have a mini and the full size. I wanted to try it in the mini first to see. First, I love the packaging. It's so cute. I love this color. Really nice. I never tried their mascara, the roller mascara, I think it's called, because they didn't come out with a waterproof version. They always forget about us. The ones that we love waterproof they just put out the regular formula but here it is it's really nice love it if you like a nice wing it's very easy my wings never come out nice because i'm not an expert i struggle with this but i do this every single day i do use different liners depending what i find first but i always love reviewing and trying out new liquid liners super black it's matte very nice this is from the brand kimchi chick i did review it separately on my channel i don't know if anybody even uses this brand i've never heard about it before this is the stage proof matte setting spray i think this retails for like 16 dollars. i'll try to leave everything that i can find that i mentioned down in the description i always do in all my videos even if i don't mention it well i try to so always just click on show more and you'll see like everything listed if you're curious to know more about a certain product I love it because they actually send me a matte spray this i actually am able to use it i really like how my makeup looks when i apply this has no scent it makes me happy these colors make me happy does it make me stay matte longer i wouldn't say that it's very hard for something to keep you matte if you're really really oily but you can definitely do tips and tricks here and there makes my foundation look nicer i don't feel stiff or anything it has rice essence so i really like that it's supposed to be really good for your skin let me know what have you been loving in the comments below i would love to test out some of your favorites thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye